The Kinsel Ford Pat Knight Show. Also brought to you in part by Walter and Sheila Umphrey. Universal Coin and Bullion. Gulf Coast Fabricators. Orange County Building Materials. Ron Lawyall, Raymond James. Giglio Distributing. PRN Medical. And Cafe Del Rio. Now here's your host, Mike Friedman, and Lamar University head basketball coach, Pat Knight. Welcome Cardinal Nation, I'm Mike Freeman along, along with Lamar head basketball coach Pat Knight. Coach, we're going to skip the opening statement, I'm sure you don't mind about that. Can we, we skip got, the show? No. We yeah. got three games to talk about this week, the first of three coming up on Monday against Southeastern Louisiana. You know, one of your closest games to date. Um, yeah, um, but it, it's still a loss. Yeah. Um, you know, that's the thing, it doesn't matter if you beat by two, if you beat by 20, it's still a loss. It's, and, it, you know, as we talk about these three games, um, that... Uh, it's all going to be the same scenario. We get down by double digit points early, and then we, we fight back about five or six times. And every time we have yeah. a chance to, to get over the hump, um, we, we have a turnover. Let's go ahead and check out some of those highlights from this past Monday night here at home, the first of a three game homestand, which was certainly nice for you guys to be at home. Um, but you, you said on last week's show, you, you can take losing just not by 30. So any, any, any pleasure, I guess, in the fact that these guys did make it close? No. Um, okay. You know, we, we had a problem with uh, missing layups this game was our problem. We missed a lot of uh, layups. And what I consider layups, you know, anything in, in the paint. And we missed a lot of close shots that, that, you know, I really thought we should have won by 10 or 12 if we hit shots. And then at the end, we had some crucial misses that could have given us a lead or, or, or tied the game. And so it's really a matter of just concentrating when you're around the bucket, you know, d during this game. So. And, but again, it's still the same thing. We get down, I think it's as much as 15 yeah. early. And, and college basketball is so hard to come back when you get down by double digits. And, and, but we had a hard time fi finding the hole in this game. One thing, though, Coach, you were down by double digits, but you did take a lead with about five minutes to go. Is it hard for this young team to close out a game? Uh, um, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> or, or we would have won. Right, I, right. You know, it, it's the mistakes that kill you. you um, if you look at the games, every time we have a chance to – either get a lead or extend the lead it's really one of the new guys that does a turnover yeah. and it's just a bad mistake and it's really mistakes that lead to buckets it's not like we get a chance to reset our our, our defense up or, or if it goes out of bounds I mean it is some costly mistakes and, and it comes from being inexperienced um, but um, it's, it's frustrating and eventually these kids have got to get over that and just be smarter with the ball with that said you only had 14 turnovers in this game one of your lowest turnover totals they actually had more turnovers than you at 15. Yeah, but they still had, um, it was close points to up. 30 points off of turnovers, right. and that's what we look at um, because those are costly turnovers. Now, if we had low turnovers and they only got 10 or 12 points, that's fine. But when you're giving up 20-some points, close to 30 points off your turnovers every game, I mean, that, that's just hard. And, and the good thing is, if there is a bright spot, <laughs> uh, um, our defense um, is really pretty good. I really like our defense, um, especially with a young team. It's usually the opposite problem you have. Um, not with uh, the turnovers in the offense, it's the defense because kids don't yeah. want to play defense. And so, but again, it's just the same problems um, that cause us to lose games. You actually out rebounded the Lions. We'll see the final result here. Seven lead changes, the game tied three times. The end result, not what we'd like to see. The potential and promise is there. Southeastern, as you see, wins at 67 63, dropping Lamar to 0 and 3 in the Southland Conference race. Coach, let's go right now to this past Thursday night's action. Sam Houston State coming into town and still trying to get your first conference win. Yeah, and it's really the same thing. They jumped on us early and we made some runs at them with a chance to tie it or take the lead. And again, turnovers yeah. hurt us again. And, and uh, But this game was a little different. Our, our, our turnovers were really bad. They got, I think, 29 points off turnovers. But then our rebound 
right. uh, for like the first time all year was bad, and they got 21 points off the rebound. So when you're giving up close to 50 points off your turnovers and rebounds, there's just not much you can do. Yeah, that was tough. They had uh, actually 19 offensive rebounds that led to 21 points, as you mentioned. And yeah, all the turnovers, all the points off that. What what can you do against to, to kind of correct that so your team doesn't make those mistakes? Well, yeah, we got to work on our D, uh, our offense. I gotta, we got to do more in practice, and you know, and it, and it comes down to us as coaches because you got such young kids that you got to figure out okay, what's causing the problem? And it's our turnovers. I mean, that's the top thing. It's the turnovers. So we've got to fix that. And so, you know, this next week in practice, we've got to work a lot more on our offense and, and take away from some from our defense because really, you know, our defense is fine, our rebounding, except in this game. Um, yeah. But overall, our rebounding is good. But we got to, we got to do a better job from a coaching aspect of working on, on the offense, and that's just playing a lot of five-on-five, half-court, five-on-oh, um, five-on-five um, five full-court. We, we just got to get them used to um, passing the ball with defenders on them, passing, you know, um, to other guys that have defense on them. And so it, it comes down to us, you know. It'd be one thing if these, if all these guys were seniors, yeah. you know, there's some things uh, you, could, you could do differently, you know, from a motivational standpoint. But it, it has nothing to do with motivation. It has to do with teaching. So that's why, you know, it, it comes down on us. We've just got to do a better job of teaching. One thing you said after this game is kids don't have the importance on winning. Do they get it yet? No. Uh, okay. Now the senior, and, and people got to understand, I don't expect them to, okay. uh, and, and I feel bad because my three seniors do, right, and sure. I feel bad for them, you know, and, and they're giving us everything they have, but new kids, um, it doesn't matter, I was the same way, I mean, you, well, your first year in college, you just want to play, yeah. and it takes a year or two um, for you to learn the importance of, of winning, and, and they're going to get it, it's just you wish you'd get it sooner, mm -hmm. and they'll get it, like, and the problem is one guy will get it one game, then the yeah. other four or five don't, and, and then it'll be a reversal, and, uh, but you know, it's frustrating, but we didn't expect that. I mean, it's very hard to find kids that come in right into college, I don't care what sport it is, and know the importance of winning, yeah. because the winning hadn't been really important to them. In high school and junior college, you can play, you can play bad and still win games, <laughs> or you can lose games, and, and they don't really put much, much emphasis on it. So it's just something we have to teach them as a staff, and they'll learn along the way. I mean, um, you know, I don't like to lose, but I mean, to hate losing getting getting beat kind of makes you hate losing so yeah. eventually they'll get it got to be patient he saw the result there the final uh, Lamar loses by 11 68 to 57 coach I want to play uh, there it is right there I want to play some of what your senior said after this game on Thursday night get your response it was Donnelly Miner Stan Brown on the struggles that they're experiencing you getting beat on basics stuff that you are taught that you've been taught your whole life you've been coached on every day I mean and it and it's a little nerve-wracking to get beat by the same stuff every day. When you got young guys, you know, you want to kind of, uh, you don't want to be too hard. But at this point, I feel like nobody's young anymore. No, no one, nobody's a freshman. Everybody's upperclassmen now. They've been here long enough. Uh, guys got to strap and be ready to play. Uh, you got recruited to play Division One basketball. You got to be a Division One basketball player. Coach, do you agree with Stan? You've played enough games. These new guys aren't new anymore. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's what you want seniors to be like. And uh, you know, we got an extension. Um, of the coaching staff, yeah, and uh, sure. but again, I I feel bad because it's a weird situation. You know, we, we there should be some juniors in the mix and yeah. and more sophomores, but we just have so many new guys. It, it's it's an oddity. So it, it's a different situation. But um, you know, the seniors are getting frustrated, but they hit it right on the head. I mean, we played enough games that you know you shouldn't be making the same mistakes. And we got to get more than one of them showing up or two of them. We've got to get five or six of them showing up to go along with these seniors. All right, two down, one to go. We still had hope to be celebrating a Lamar Cardinals win. Stick around for that and more when the Phil Pop Ford Pat Knight Show returns after this. Hi, I'm Tracy Bird. Kinsel Ford's been putting Southeast Texans behind the wheel since 1922. That's more than 90 years of hard work, honesty, and great deals like these. That's right, Tracy. 2013 Mustang starting as low as $29.88. Or get up to $5,000 off the all-new Ford Explorer. We beat any competitor's price guaranteed, plus give you free tires for life. So why shop anywhere else? So whether you come for service or you come for the price, come to Kinsel Ford. Exit Lucas, coming or going. Great hunt today, Dad. Thanks, son. For more than 15 years, I've helped clients nationwide 
make solid decisions about investing in gold so they can enjoy what's most important. Discover the best options for you and your family by calling 866-UCB-GUIDE to receive our award-winning gold guide free. 866-UCB-GUIDE, 866-822-4843. Now is the time to learn about gold so you have time to enjoy what's most important. For fastidious librarian Emily Skinner, each day was fueled by thorough preparation for events to come. Well, somewhere along the way, Emily went right on living. But you see, with the help of her Raymond James financial advisor, she had planned for every eventuality, which meant she continued to have the means to live on, even at the ripe old age of 187. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James advisor can do for you. For more than a decade, Gulf Coast Fabricators has maintained an excellence in product quality, availability, and customer satisfaction. Our growth is the result of exceeding our customers' demands for on-time deliveries, stringent specification compliance, and competitive pricing. Quality and services are our standards, and our standard is excellence. We invite you to take advantage of our experience and versatility. Call Gulf Coast Fabricators today. Welcome back. Well, the third and final game of this Cardinals homestand this week looked to be, at least on paper, the best chance for Big Red to be celebrating a win. Texas A&M Corpus Christi coming into the Montaigne Center running a 12-game losing streak. Coach, any kind of overconfidence going into this one? No. Uh, <coughs> you know, I, I was really – the thing I was disappointed, again, we came out so flat. Mm -hmm. and, and to me, it should have been the opposite. You know, you're looking there, you got a team with zero wins like yourself. And like you said, look like a, on paper a really good chance to – finally get a win and try to get something going and we just came out I mean so flat I really had to get after them at one time out because it, it looked like you know we had a bunch of zombies out there they just yeah. didn't you know they, they just didn't show up to play is this so lethargic and again we get down as much as 13 and they have us down 11 and a half and we make some good runs in the second half but each time we had a chance to take the lead or tie it um, we, we had some bad turnovers We've seen this before. You played a much better second half. In fact, you shot 56% from the floor in that second half and were able to come back from that double deficit. Well, they get an urgency finally when they get down. Yeah, and, but you, you got to have an urgency and, and an energy to you when you start off the game. And, and you got to be able to jump on teams. Um, but we just start out so lethargic. And it's almost too late. I mean, I mean it's so hard. And I, I said this, you know, before the commercial break that. Yeah. Um, if, if you get down by double digits in college basketball, it's just so hard to come back, and, and uh, it, it really wears you down. But then the, the costly mistakes, but it was the same scenario for all three games. You get down early and then make some good runs. I mean, there are times in all, these, all three games, you know, for three or four minutes at different times of the game, we look like a, a really good basketball team. Yeah. But it's the other two or three minutes in between that where we're really bad, and we've just got to become consistent and put 40 minutes together. You were within three with 38 seconds to go. Senior Donnelly Minor missing the front end of a one and one. Could have pulled you within one point had he made two free throws and then had a crucial turnover uh, in the final seconds. Yeah, you, you know, th those are tough, tough things to, to overcome. Yeah. But from a coach standpoint, it's really not won or lost there at the end. You, you really, um, from my perspective, shouldn't even be in that position. It's the start of the game, that first half, by letting yourself be down by 11 and a half. Um, it, it just can't be that way. We've got to get off to better starts and, and not have ourselves in a position there at the end where, um, where we have a chance to make mistakes. We should have a lead where, where it's comfortable and, and be able to put the game away. And so to me, yes, we make some mistakes each game at the end, yeah. um, but uh, it's the, the bad starts that these last three games, I think they did us in. So the Islanders leave with a 62-56 win. Lamar now 0-5 in the SLC. What's the recipe to get that entire team to show up for an entire game, not just pieces? Uh, you know, we just got to keep working. And I mean, there, there's just no magical answer. Yeah. And, and, and dealing with kids, uh, you know, I can't do a lobotomy tomorrow and, and figure things out. It, it's just I don't know the mindset. It's just like a uh, perfect example is Donnelly Minton, Donnell Minton last night looks like a, an All-American. But where's that been for two months? Right. And finally, you know, we've been on him hard for two months to get to play. He finally plays, but then we have some other guys that haven't shown up, and it, it, it's frustrating. Um, we need more than one of them per game to show up, and I've said this before, we need four or five of them to yeah. go along with the seniors, and we could have a pretty good team. But I don't know what go, 
it goes through kids' minds. It's almost like they think we play 100 games, <laughs> we have 1,000 possessions, and there's this, and it, it's a, it comes with being new that, um, and, and the inexperienced, but they'll learn that each possession's important, every game's important, but it takes, you know, a, a year to do it. But I just wish some of them would get it, you know, a little sooner than having to wait till next year. Hopefully they'll get it sooner than later this season. Let's go now to our Player of the Week coach. You chose Stan Brown. Yeah, he, he's been the most consistent um, player this week and uh, showed up. I, I think for, from a standpoint of, of uh, personality, attitude, and playing hard in each of the three games. Very good. You see 12.7 boards, one block last night against AM Corpus Christi. Congrats to Stan Brown, our Miller Lite Player of the Week. All right, three home games got you a little bit more familiar with those newcomers to the Lamar Cardinal team. Eight new players, five freshmen, all are crucial in the Cardinals getting a win. We'll talk more about that in the Cardinal close-up after the break. Montgomery and Abigail Higgins had a tree that bore the most rare and magical fruit, which provided for their every financial need. And then, in one blinding blink of an eye, their tree had given its last. But with their Raymond James financial advisor, they had prepared for even the unthinkable. And they danced. See what a Raymond James advisor can do for you. For more than a decade, Gulf Coast Fabricators has maintained an excellence in product quality, availability, and customer satisfaction. Our growth is the result of exceeding our customers' demands for on-time deliveries, stringent specification compliance, and competitive pricing. Quality and services are our standards, and our standard is excellence. We invite you to take advantage of our experience and versatility. Call Gulf Coast Fabricators today. Hi, I'm Tracy Bird. Kinsel Ford's been putting Southeast Texans behind the wheel since 1922. That's more than 90 years of hard work, honesty, and great deals like these. That's right, Tracy. 2013 Mustangs starting as low as $29.88 or get up to $5,000 off the all-new Ford Explorer. We beat any competitor's price guaranteed, plus give you free tires for life. So why shop anywhere else? So whether you come for service or you come for the price, come to Kinsel Ford. Exit Lucas, coming or going. I've said it before, Coach Knight has said it. Certainly by now you know this Lamar men's basketball team has new faces. Eight newcomers, five freshmen, all, all obviously need to contribute for the Cardinals to have some success. That youth is the Cardinals club's focus for this week in our Cardinal close-up with Andrew Chernoff. Don't feel too bad if you haven't learned all the names of the players on this year's Lamar basketball team just yet because there are eight new guys on the roster this season. And boy, are they learning how different Lamar basketball is from where they come from. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Uh, you really have to work hard and uh, be on your stuff at all times. This is not going to be easy. College is like a way different experience than high school, and you got to work a lot harder. And the competition is a lot better. Everybody bigger, like teams way bigger. Teams play like, it seems like teams been together way longer than us. Like, Team's got better chemistry and everything. That chemistry takes time to build, especially on a team that has five freshmen and three transfers. And the head coach understands that. They're young, and I got to have, have patience, and, and I got to look to the future from, from the standpoint. I have these guys for four years. And, you know, we, we have some all conference type players that uh, eventually in, in this mix. Coach Knight also realizes that when two thirds of his players are new to the team, it's a unique situation, one that will probably not happen again. You just can't put yourself in a situation where you have so many new guys, and that's why we got to straighten out from a recruiting standpoint. Uh, the most you want to try to get is maybe four, but I knew that coming in. There's a lot of things we had to straighten out. This is really what last year should have been, um, but we had really good seniors, uh, talented seniors, uh, you know, three all-conference players and so we had to win last year because we knew we we're going to be starting from scratch this year but there's a lot there's a lot of positive I mean we we're laying a great foundation the future is bright for the cards but this year has been a challenge the team is currently 2 and 15 0 and 5 in Southland Conference play but it's the seniors who are trying to keep the young players spirits high I have to keep my head up and keep my head up I have to help them out I mean it's, it's tough coming in and, and being a part of this, this, this tough season, this schedule. 
So I am vocal. I have to talk to them out, and I really want I don't want anybody feeling like they should be losing confidence. What have you learned from some of the senior leaders on this team? Uh, how the conference goes, you know, the things, how this conference works. Mostly, most of the time, they told me that uh, the oldest team is the most successful team. But, you know, we still got to push hard to go at it. And pushing hard is something these youngsters want to see from themselves for the benefit of their teammates. What is your personal goal by the end of the season? To help the team get to the conference tournament. The newbies hope to help the Cards pick up that first conference win Saturday at McNeese State. For the Coach Knight Show, this has been a Cardinal Close-Up. And we'll step aside for a minute or two on the other side of the break. We'll talk about that next game for the Cardinals and why they should be very well prepared. Stay close. The show will return right after this. Great hunt today, Dad. Thanks, son. For more than 15 years, I've helped clients nationwide make solid decisions about investing in gold so they can enjoy what's most important. Discover the best options for you and your family by calling 866-UCB-GUIDE to receive our award-winning gold guide free. 866-UCB-GUIDE, 866-822-4843. Now is the time to learn about gold so you have time to enjoy what's most important. For fastidious librarian Emily Skinner, each day was fueled by thorough preparation for events to come. Well, somewhere along the way, Emily went right on living. But you see, with the help of her Raymond James financial advisor, she had planned for every eventuality, which meant she continued to have the means to live on, even at the ripe old age of 187. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James advisor can do for you. Hi, I'm Tracy Bird. Kinsel Ford's been putting Southeast Texans behind the wheel since 1922. That's more than 90 years of hard work, honesty, and great deals like these. That's right, Tracy. 2013 Mustang starting as low as $29.88. Or get up to $5,000 off the all-new Ford Explorer. We beat any competitor's price guaranteed, plus give you free tires for life. So why shop anywhere else? So whether you come for service or you come for the price, come to Kinsel Ford. Exit Lucas, coming or going. Welcome back. Well, I guess we do have some good news. At least I think it is, Coach. You're going to have an entire week after playing three games in one week, a whole week you don't play till next Saturday. How nice will that be to have a week of practice? No, it would be great. You yeah. know, we need a lot of work, and especially from an offense standpoint, turn the ball over. And so it gives us a chance. You know, we don't start class till Thursday. We'll go two days for at least the first two days and, and uh, maybe Wednesday. But it gives us a chance to work on a lot of things. And, and we just haven't had that opportunity early on because all the way games. But um, – we still need to work and yeah. so from a coaching uh, position you'd like to have a lot of practice and so this would be a good week for us to get after things and, and see if we can just straighten some things out before we play Saturday. And you see the next game next Saturday in Lake Charles against your rivals McNeese State. They won against Corpus Christi their only conference win. They won't play again until next Saturday. This could be a, a good game to get you up in the standings. Well anytime you play McNeese it's a big rival sure. game and, and um, it's just going to be good. Um, to get back in that situation, a game that's going to mean a lot to us is from, from that standpoint, a rival game. But we got to get a win underneath our belt and see if we can get something going here um, before it gets too late. Yeah. Let's take our final break of the night. We'll be back with Coach's final thoughts right after this. decade, Gulf Coast Fabricators has maintained an excellence in product quality, availability, and customer satisfaction. Our growth is the result of exceeding our customers' demands for on-time deliveries, stringent specification compliance, and competitive pricing. Quality and services are our standards, and our standard is excellence. We invite you to take advantage of our experience and versatility. Call Gulf Coast Fabricators today. Hi, I'm Tracy Bird. Kinsel Ford's been putting Southeast Texans behind the wheel since 1922. That's more than 90 years of hard work, honesty, and great deals like these. That's right, Tracy. 2013 Mustang starting as low as $29.88. Or get up to $5,000 off the all-new Ford Explorer. We beat any competitor's price guaranteed, plus give you free tires for life. So why shop anywhere else? So whether you come for service or you come for the price, come to Kinsel Ford. Exit Lucas, coming or going. 
Great hunt today, Dad. Thanks, son. For more than 15 years, I've helped clients nationwide make solid decisions about investing in gold so they can enjoy what's most important. Discover the best options for you and your family by calling 866-UCB-GUIDE to receive our award-winning gold guide free. 866-UCB-GUIDE, 866-822-4843. Now is the time to learn about gold so you have time to enjoy what's most important. For fastidious librarian Emily Skinner, each day was fueled by thorough preparation for events to come. Well, somewhere along the way, Emily went right on living. But you see, with the help of her Raymond James financial advisor, she had planned for every eventuality, which meant she continued to have the means to live on, even at the ripe old age of 187. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James advisor can do for you. All right, Coach, 13 more conference games. You need to move up two spots in the conference race. Can you get it done? Yeah, I think we can. And, and you know, I apologize to fans. It's been brutal. I've, I've done a terrible job, and I, I got a terrible team right now. But, you know, we got plenty of time to turn it around, and so uh, we're going to do that. I, I guarantee that. But it's going to take a lot of work, and yeah. we just got to get these young guys motivated. But there's plenty of time, and it's not over, but I expect to be in Katy. Next week, Lake Charles against McNeese State. We'll be back here next Sunday night. See you then. Thanks for watching the Kinsel Ford Pat Knight Show. Also brought to you in part by Walter and Sheila Humphrey. Universal Coin and Bullion. Gulf Coast Fabricators. Orange County Building Materials. Ron Lawyall, Raymond James. Giglio Distributing. PRN Medical. Cafe Del Rio. Messina's Liquor. Under Armour. And KFDM TV.